Hello and welcome back to Stirling Albion TV. First up, we'll be taking a look back at Thursday night's action as Stirling Albion made the trip up to Elgin City. So Kevin, a disappointing night up here north in the north. Aye, ten minutes of madness in the first half. So undone is really. I thought we started the game reasonably well. Picked up one injury um, after three, four minutes. Kieran Moore comes off, rattled us a wee bit, and then I think I don't know three, four minutes later, seven or eight minutes in, obviously Andy picks up his injury, and after that it was just a sort of just the changes, that early disruption. They just disrupted us in two scrappy goals. But then by the end of the half, I felt I felt we were the better team again. You know, I felt we were in it. I felt I'm saying better team. Listen, it. No, we were only creating bucket loads of chances, and but neither were they. Um, the second half it became very open. Um, obviously, we were going for it a wee bit, and they got a goal in the break, which really sealed the fate. You know, we'd said at half time it had to be watertight, it had to be. Um, but listen, the one thing I'm no I'm not going to sit here and make excuses, but we we are getting absolutely decimated at the minute. Get Alden, 
who was told his season was over three weeks ago, coming back and putting his body in the line. We've got Kyle Banner who put his body in the line with a different injury tonight. Jack Leach is far from 100% at the minute. Um, and now the, the, it grows rather than diminishes. Um, we'll have one or two back for the weekend, which is good. So, and we must dust ourselves down. Cup final. You know, we won on Saturday, we won the playoffs. That's uh, the facts. There's no grey area about that. You know, we win, we're in. So, very clear what we have to do. And then um, we have to sort of recover the lads and, and sort of wrap them up in cotton wool and see what we've got to work with come Saturday. So it finished 3-1 to Elgin City on Thursday night. Now let's take a look back at the highlights from this weekend's match as Stirling Albion took on Shonar in the final match day of the 2020-2021 Scottish League 2 season. So this is it, Stirling fans, it's all led to this. And we're underway. Oh, now we're underway. <laughs> Dylan missed his, missed his cue there <laughs> from the referee. Anyway, we've kicked off here at Fourth Bank Stadium. It's Stirling Albion versus Strandar. You're watching live on SATV Live. It's been a privilege to bring you coverage of every Stirling Albion home game this season. And we're just really hoping for a, an entertaining display here today. Alan goes on the line for Bikey. Wilson with the header. And Bikey will be able to pick it up on the right hand side here. He's got a couple options in the box and he's got Migiki behind him. And is that a shot in the end he went for? I think he got in a good position, but I think he was a bit in two minds what to do. Um, obviously, we've got the pace up front today with Dylan and Shawnee, so I think that'll be a tactic to try and get them in behind um, the fullbacks. Uh, but usually he's got better quality there, Dylan, so it's a good, good positive start. And it'll be Jordan Allen who will come in and scoop it up for the Beanos. Jack Lynch out wide to Dylan Bakey on this right-hand side. Tries to beat the defender of pace. Does really, really well. Can cross the ball into the box. Oh, and it's cleared away. Ball goes long for Heaver. It's won by the Stranraer defence, but Stirling still have it here. Leach. Magiki. Might open up for a shot. He goes for it, and it's not far away in the end. I think we might as well have given up football there if Geeks had put one in the top bin. He's not renowned for his goal scoring ability, <laughs> Ross, but uh, it's a great strike from him there. Switch for handball. Play goes on with Hilton playing it back. Shandra and join a wee spell here. It's crossed into the middle. Hilton at the back post and it's saved by Curry. I think sometimes there Curtis can put his foot on the ball and Start again, maybe look for Ross at right back and we'll go again. Here's Heaver. He's got options. Plays it to Jack Leach. Can drive inside. Uh, oh, and Heaver can pick it back up for Stullen. He does really, really well. Curtis Roberts is in the box. Goes for Wilson. Bikey. Oh. Holds on to it. Tries to get a shot off. And it 
will end up in Fleming's oh, hands. Away. Oh, right. Yeah. No, it'll go corner. for a corner. Aye. I think Bikey just held on for it a bit too long. Yeah, it took too long and he just got totally crowded out, didn't he? He almost had no space at all. He managed to dig a shot out, but just blocked away for this corner. I think you can see David Wilson there giving, <laughs> giving him an earful. I think he has to go for the one-two there. Yeah. Uh, first time layoff and Div's got a shot, but Bikey scored the other night, so he's obviously looking for another one. Mm. But I think if he looks at it back, he probably realise he maybe should have gave it to Dev but it's, it was good from Sean to start Wilson with the corner swept into the middle it's a dangerous ball McGregor heads it back in is it over the line no it's cleared away by Sean it'll go back to Wilson now and it goes through his feet Curtis Roberts can pick it up here on the left hand side for Sterling Albion. and he's battling quite well almost goes down for the free kick stays on his feet instead and I think this will go out for another style I'll be in corner and that was a great ball into the box great ball and I think I think Alden actually had a really good chance at the front post there um, oh, I think if he throws his cell he might have got yeah. it um, Jordan's unlucky with the second header but it's unlucky it's frustrating watching <laughs> you just want to throw your own I'm sitting up here trying to head it myself Wilson with another corner for Stilling it's whipped in another good ball McGregor was up for it but Sonar can clear the lines Curry towards Bikey Sonar win their header but it will go to Curtis Roberts who will find Magiki and Magiki's body slam but Bikey can pick it up and he skipped past his defender he's running into the box still and Bikey might got a bit too far away from him and it will go out for a Sterling Albion corner kick Jack Leach crossed into the box oh. oh and it's not far away at all from Jordan McGregor it's a it's a powerful header and it's just off target he attacks it so well um, that front post run he commits to it He's done everything right, he's just not got his head down. Or play it inside to McManus. McManus gets his shot off and it's blocked. Out wide to Sean Burns. To get the one two. Turns inside. Good bit of play here by Strenard. Or across the middle of the box and oh it's turned in to his own net. It's an own goal. Oh, and that's very unfortunate for Sterling. It's a complete freak accident, isn't it? Yeah, I think he's just tried to cut cut the ball out as it's got cut back. Alden maybe tried to gamble and win the ball there. and I think Jordan Allen's got to make an attempt for it. I, th I think if he leaves it, the Stranraer player yeah. taps it in behind. Um, it's, it's a little bit against the running play for me, um, but it's frustrating. <laughs> be another chance here for Stranraer oh and it's a great save from Blair Curry and it'll go out for a Stranraer corner and Stranraer just trying to leap on that sucker punch of a goal aren't they yeah it's, the boys just need to calm down for five minutes get their foot back on the ball Magiki Wilson tries the ball for Heaver but it'll reach Bikey instead and Heaver's Run alone in the box, Bikey cuts past his man, Dylan Bikey, and it's saved by Fleming in the end. He just cuts in on his right foot and gets his shot off there. Good play again, though, for Dylan. He's, he does look sharp today. I think the goal on Thursday is obviously giving him confidence. And Free kick goes Stillings way. Got, it's got to that extent, hasn't it, that, <laughs> that we need a luck, we need a bit of luck, because yeah, this definitely. season we've just yeah, had <laughs> just nothing at all. Not exactly. I always say it evens itself out, but I'm, yet, I'm still waiting for hours to come, so hopefully today's the day. Wilson whips in, dangerous ball! Yes! And there, there's the goal, there's the equaliser, <laughs> just like that, Stilling are back on level terms, and it's, it's Ross McGeeky! Yes, <laughs> delighted for geeks. <laughs> Brilliant. And I that eased the nerves a oh, bit now. I've been, I've been slagging geeks for two years since I joined. It. I'm not, I don't think I'll ever see him score a goal, so at least now he'll be able to <laughs> make me eat my words, but delighted. It's a fantastic header, yeah, a isn't great it? Great header. Yeah. Um, as I've said for you, like, since I came, geeks is really, really good at attacking the ball. He should do more, like myself, like Jordan. They should have scored more goals for set plays. So. Here is Dylan Bakey. Just turns and wants that space to run into it. Finds Curtis Roberts. Switch ball, ball back through oh, to Bikey and. I'd like to see that again. Yeah, I'm not yeah, sure. It'll trickle through. 
Off size flag will it's go definitely up. Definitely tight, although it is. It's right in front of the linesman, isn't it? So you'd assume he's got it right, but. Here we go. Oh, oh. Off of me. Off of me. <laughs> he's, he looks in line. He does. He yeah. looks like it. If you look at the defender, he looks like he's on the 18 yard line, and I don't think Peaky's in the box, so it's a tough one. It's a close one. See him running off him. Um, could be an option. Trevor Hart able to bring the ball forward here. It's crossed into the middle. That's great, a great, great bit of defending from Jordan Allen. I think it's the exact same one as the first half, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he's <laughs> almost made up for it in the first half, yeah. with that? Because I think that was almost certainly a goal. I'm sure Stirling fans will be glued to the device that they're watching the game on. Free kick goes Stirling's way. Wilson whips it into the box towards McGeeky. It's a chance. Ooh. Oh. I think that should be a corner. Yeah. It will be a yeah. corner, yeah. Yeah, you're spot on though with Dylan Beaky maybe playing out in this left against Jamie Hamill. And it's hit off the head yeah, of Hamill. Ball, yeah. Eight minutes to go, plus added. Bikey. Wilson. Through to Sean Heaver. Sean Heaver! Saved by Fleming. Almost picked up by Doherty, and Hamill will have to go back to Fleming, and that's the best chance of the second half yeah, for Stirling. And to be honest, I pro that's probably the man yeah. I'd want to default. Shawnee's finishing is superb in training, probably one of the best finishers at the club. I just wonder if he could lift it there when he's he's through here. Can he lift it over the goalkeeper? He tries to slide yeah. it past him. It's Curry goes long for Bikey. No, you're up for him. Doherty. Mackin holds up the ball really well. well played. Heaver. John Heaver! Oh, it's just past the post! Not far away at all. Dylan Mackin does fantastic, yeah, doesn't superb. he? Yeah, it's exactly what the manager would have wanted. Dylan, he hold it in. Look for Heaver or Beaky in. <laughs> so close, isn't it? Oh. He does everything right, Sean. He goes across the keeper. Well, I think now if... if if you score now for Stirling, I think you've you've cemented yourself as a yeah. hero, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. It's crossed into the box. Oh no, Daryl Duffy, the former Beano, heads it into the back of the net. Oh no, and it's all went wrong all of a sudden for Stirling Albion. And Stranraer take the lead 2-1 with two minutes to go. And I don't want to say it, but could that be the end yeah, of Stirling's it's, season? It's such a horrible goal to concede. He just looks like he gets the jump on. Geeks at the back post, but it's a signal to take. It's out of nothing, really. I don't... Yeah. It's just it's came out of nowhere and it's gave Blair no chance. A great header for Darrow. And we know his quality, but it's one of them. It's just it's a signal. Yeah. Definitely possible. Yeah, definitely possible. But it's just it's, not, it's not, just not in our way you want to go hands, in. is yeah. it? Long throw for Stirling. Jordan Allen right into the box. Mm. Jordan Allen puts it back in. Headed away. Back to Allen. And it'll go out for Stirling throw. And I wondered why he never brought that back for the yeah, free kick here. I know, I think he was just waiting for him to put it in at the box, wasn't he? But no, dangerous position right on the edge of the box. Chris Hamilton right into the box. Dylan Mackin heads on. Dylan Mackin off the box. Yes! 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 <laughs> oh, no! again the equaliser for the second time <laughs> late on. And it, I think it's Ross it's McGeeky Ross again. Is it? it might have been Declan Bunn. It was one of them, but I don't care. I really don't care. <laughs> Dylan Mackin does absolutely brilliant to flick it on. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I think it's oh, Dayton Bond in the end. N not full time. <laughs> <laughs> not full time just yet. 
It's a huge goal Massive. because it's, I know we needed to win the game, but it now means that both Stranraer and Elgin need positive results. Curry's going to have to come out and deal with that. Launches it forward, first time. Still we play. Oh, and that's it. That's it. <sighs> I don't think my heart could have took much more yet. <laughs> oh. Full time at Fort Bank Stadium. It's finished. Stalling Albion 2, Stranraer 2. Stalling have done all they can. And it's going to have to go down to Tuesday night. We're going to have to sit and watch the <laughs> results come in. Well, we're, from where we were at 90 <laughs> yeah, minutes, yeah, yeah. we're much better yeah. off now. So I think it's the least Stirling deserved out of the game. I think yeah. I think we'd, if you looked at the game as a neutral, you'd say Stirling were the better team. Um, did we do enough to win the game over the 90 minutes? Maybe not, but we definitely did not deserve to lose it. So I think... A draw might have been a fair result, maybe Stirling slightly shaded it, but as you say, now we turn our <laughs> off to go Tuesday and pray that results go our way. So Kevin, uh, that was a bit of a roller coaster. Ah, uh, we don't like doing anything easy here at Stirling. Um, just like, you know, let, listen, let's start and, you know, thank. No, because I think it's the end of the season, just, you know, I think it's been a huge effort to get here by everybody at the club, yourself included, I think you've run a you know, a fantastic streaming for the fans. Obviously, we, we thank, personally, I thank the fans for the, you know, the support, even from afar, you know, we feel it. And I know that there are those fans that will be disappointed slightly, but, you know, we've had a mad week. It's, it's unprecedented and it's the last seven days that have hurt us, you know. Um, before that, we were fairly comfortable. And, and like today, you know, listen, if, if anybody's watched that today, we're the better team. You know, I'm... I, and I'm not being disrespectful to Stranra, but on the day for me today, we were the better team. Um, not by much. It's fine lines in this division that separate that separate the teams and win and lose your games. And um, but you know uh, we've got a heartbeat. <laughs> so so I'm delighted with that. You know, 89 minutes there, you're thinking what a horrible way you know to to, to finish a season. And then you know Dylan Mackin, who's not even fit, he's injured, comes on, gets a touch to a ball. Declan's just come on off the bench, sharp as attack, and you know bundles at home. And I'm just delighted for the boys. They've given, they've left nothing on this pitch. They've given me everything today. And uh, aye, uh, uh, proud, proud, proud to be manager of the club. Proud to be manager of that squad. And that's only going to get better. That squad, it really is. Um, we're halfway through a season, basically. You know, um, in any normal season, so a lot of positives. So it's finished here at 4th Bank Stadium, Stirling Albion 2, Stranraer 2. Stirling have done all they can and it will now go down to Tuesday night's results to determine whether or not they will reach the playoffs. I hope this is not the final Stirling Albion TV highlights of the season, but if it is, we thank you for watching and thank you for your support throughout the full season for both Stirling Albion TV and SETV Live. We'll see you again next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye for now. Dylan Mackin heads on, Dylan Mackin off the post, yeah!